we have commandeered the Hubcap Diners parking lot. Yeah, we're in Hill City, South Dakota, and we found this nice gravel lot level behind a closed down diner. So we took it over. Well, there are extenuating circumstances. Yeah, it's nice to know the owner. <laughs> My sister owns it, so. Yeah. Phil's <laughs> Phil's sister owns the diner, which is closed down for the season. It is a seasonal restaurant, and luckily for us, we got here just at the right time. Yeah, so we're right behind the Hubcap Diner, but she also owns the Rock Mill, was it Rock Mill Adventures? Yep, and right Apparel. Across, yeah, across the parking lot. And there you can get all the latest in gems and rocks and stones, and... Even better. You can rent UTVs when they're in season. We just finished with our UTV ride here at um, Hill City, South Dakota, and I think we did roughly 48 what, miles. 48 15? miles on the money. On the money. 48 miles. Yeah, I got 48 the, miles. We took I pictures no before and wrong. after. Yep, okay. we took before and after pictures. Okay, well, I didn't know it was 48 miles, but we hit some pretty good trails out there. <laughs> It was uh, a blast. A lot of, lot of fun. Some pretty poopy trails, too. Yeah, there were a lot of cows out <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, there were some active pastures. There was some running through of aforementioned manure. Patties. Yeah, yeah. that was nasty. <laughs> so, but we did, once we got done, we went and refueled them. We washed them off at the car wash, so there's no evidence of any cow patties. So if you're ever in Hill City and you're looking for a UTV or an ATV, is what I commonly refer to them as. Or, well, off-road, have fun. A blast. Right. Come to the Rock Mill Adventures here in Hill City, South Dakota. And when you're done using the or renting the ATVs, during their open season, you can walk right across their parking lot to their Hubcap Diner and, and uh, eat some good chow. Yeah. Next spring, make sure you look them up. Yeah, so she actually owns the business up here. She lives in Custer, South Dakota. And down there, she's got another restaurant called the Pizza Mill. Pizza is phenomenal. And that, I believe, is open see, open all year. It is all year. Yeah. So if you're cutting through Custer, South Dakota, and you're looking for some good pizza, it's the Pizza Mill. You saw that we were at Orville, is it Forest Campground? Yeah, it a, it's a forest. Forestry. forestry. Orville Forestry Campground. There's no hookups there. They had decent sites. They weren't bad. Um, note the reception for AT&T was spotty at best. Oh, and Verizon and zero for Sprint. <laughs> yeah, um, but it was a really nice park. Again, no hookups. So we were there with, with our RV besties. All four couples were there. Two of them left and went on to other destinations. Yep. But we can't seem to get rid of this rig. They're back again and yeah. they won't leave. So we're hanging out with Al and Angie again. We've reunited with them. I know you guys have been asking about them. They are alive. They're kicking. And we don't know how long they're going to tag along with us, but we hope it's for a very long time because we always have a blast when we're together. We're packing up to leave Hill City today and I am testing out something new. 
This is E6000, which is a craft glue brand that I've used for years, but they now have something called Extreme Track. And it kind of feels like the glue that you get when you get like a new credit card in the mail, that adhesive that holds it to the paper. That's what it feels like. It's completely removable when you're done with it. So I'm testing it out for the first time on some of the things that I'm tired of moving around every time we pack up. So it's all little stuff, nothing really heavy. If it works well, I'm going to move to a couple of heavier items and see how it does. So I'll test it out for you and let you know if it's going to be a good purchase or not. But in the meantime, we are getting ready to leave Hill City. We've been hanging out with Phil's sister um, for about a week now, and we've had the best time. So if you're coming to this area, make sure you stop by at their pizza joint. Go check them out. Tell them we said hey, and um, let them know what you think about the pizza crust. Oh, and make sure you leave them a review when you're done, because it always helps small businesses. Um, of course, they are a mom and pop shop, so any love you give them will be highly appreciated. We set out at the first light We lit up with the sunrise Gets my heartbeat running wild When you're here by my side And we'll dream, dream out loud Take our chance We made it to Devil's Tower today. And it's pretty significant for us because this was the very first place I saw in any RV video that made me itch to go RV. I didn't know that till today. <laughs> so because of Devil's Tower, we are full-time RVers. It wasn't a very big itch because I didn't know. <laughs> but I can tell you that since we are here, it doesn't even look real. It doesn't. It no. looks like Disney made it and just threw it here on the ground. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's driving in, um, you know, you could see it. It was small from where we were at when we first hit it, hit the road. And then as we got closer, it got bigger and bigger. And now that we're standing at the base of it, 867 feet tall is what I think I just read. Oh, you read. actually read something. I read it right over there, right over there. Are you sure you didn't tell him? No, no, I didn't tell him. Yeah. I had no idea. I read it. It, it, is, it. The scale is hard to kind of grasp right. like standing right here. Yeah. And you can climb it. If you're a climber, you have to register, but you can climb it. I think I'm out on that one. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. Mm, nope, seen it. I'm good from right here. We will go from this day on. Take this world and make it ours. You and I, all life long, we'll take this world from this day on. I know you're wondering what these two clowns are doing. But while we were zip lining the other day, we were told pie. you could actually smell, what was it, cinnamon? Caramel. Caramel, vanilla. cinnamon, vanilla in some of these pines. But it had to be the red pines. And as you can see, the two goofballs are sniffing all the trees here <laughs> at Devil's Tower. <laughs> I promise you, it. nobody has been nipping in the booze cabinet yet today, <laughs> although it may appear that way. We're all packed up. We're getting ready to leave the Mountain View campground here in Sundance, Wyoming. And we really like this campground. It's yep. a private campground, so it's a little closer than we normally prefer, and there's not a lot of trees, but it is so well maintained, and the staff is so friendly. Yeah, we checked in and we got two chocolate chip cookies. Fresh baked. Well, I'm going to say they're fresh baked. I don't know if they were or not, but they were delicious. Yeah, they called us, one, to verify the time we were coming, or that we were still coming, and then to verify what time we were coming in because they wanted to have the cookies ready my kind of place now the reason we stopped here is because we wanted to hit up devil's tower and this was close by now there are a couple other options for you the actual national park campground is one but it's been closed due to covid the other one right on the foot of devil's tower is a koa but that one with tax was like 72 bucks a night and you guys all know i'm a bit of a miser <laughs> so we stayed about 25 minutes out and with tax and our 10 percent military discount it was only 45 bucks a night I thought it was 41. Well, without tax, it's oh, okay. 41. Okay. So with tax, it was 45, full hookups. So we did as much laundry as possible, even though we were practically caught up. But <laughs> now we head further west. Yeah. So we're, we're done. Checkout time was five minutes ago, and we're still <laughs> sitting here. But technically, we're not hooked up 
or with any of their services. So we're just kind of sitting. Yeah, and Al and Angie, you can see them right there, are sitting in the driver's seat waiting for us to yeah. finish talking to you. So I think we need to roll. <laughs> yeah, that being said, we got to go. We got to fill up with propane because the temps are about to dip dip down in this area in yes. the coming days. So we just got to make sure we're topped off with propane so for I our can heater. Stay warm. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. As it starts getting colder, we have to make sure we always have a full tank of propane. That way we can stay nice and warm. There was one occasion where we had our propane tanks filled that the heat would not come on. And I'll link that video below. So I don't remember how cold it was. It was like overnight 30 or 40 degrees and we froze. So we will make sure we have propane. Now we found this propane place, um, which is on our way back to the freeway, which is huge and it works out perfectly. Sometimes when you fill up at uh, truck stops, it's really difficult to get the RV up close to the propane tanks. But as you can see here, it is not a problem. So we're gonna fill up both the onboard tanks and our grill tanks and we'll all be set probably for a while. Price was $1.99 a gallon as opposed to $3.44 a gallon at the campground. Yeah. So $1.99, three, yeah, I think we'll come here. <laughs> yeah, good savings. So if you're in this area, Monday through Thursday, there should be somebody here, but on Friday, yeah, you might want to call ahead. Yeah. I mentioned E6000 in the beginning of the video. This is called Extreme Tack, and I've had it on some of my things for a good month or so now. We've driven around quite a bit, and this is not going anywhere. So it's pretty strong. I've tried 3M tape in the past and eventually it comes off and it starts falling, but this is pretty darn secure. I wanted to see how removable it really is to make sure it's not going to ruin our surfaces. So let's peel this bad boy up and see what's underneath. If I can. Come on, Superwoman. Um, well, may not be as removable as we thought. Ugh. Okay. All right. So the bottom did have um, like a price tag on it and that is on here. But let's see if it, oh yeah, it is peeling right off just like that tacky glue from a credit card. It's coming right off nicely. So if you have some things that you want to glue down or tack down when you're driving, this is a winner. Woohoo! Now I'm going to use it on some heavier things. If you're wondering how we find the locations for propane, I find them with Allstays. It has a filter just for propane and it'll give you all the areas or all the locations you can fill up, whether it's your small tank or your onboard propane tank. Yeah, and this is crucial, especially in the colder um, climates because we're going through propane a lot faster than we would yeah. if we were in a hotter uh, environment because then we're only using it for the stove. So. This little tool is great to have. So when you find the location that you think you want, if you're a bigger RV, I would Google map it, look at the satellite, see if you think that your RV will fit. Some of the places like U-Haul and those kind of places, we don't always fit in. So if we can't tell by the satellite, we usually will call ahead of time too and see if the propane is locked up, if we have to go behind a fence, if we have room to turn around behind that fence, because there have been occasions where it was a little precarious. <laughs> the best thing about looking for these places for propane, as you saw, is it's much cheaper. If you're filling up at the campground, you're going to pay for the convenience. So um, usually yeah. it's along the route. You don't have to go out of your way. And these places can even be much cheaper than um, gas stations. So yeah, absolutely. truck stops for sure. Yeah, we were, at one point we were paying more for propane than we were for diesel. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy. Yeah, we paid up to four bucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, all right. So that's it for the propane. The next thing we wanted to remind you of are, is our t-shirt sale. Tomorrow is your last day for this t-shirt design. They will be retired forever <laughs> right. after tomorrow. Yeah, so I know you've heard us say this before, but um, get them now because this design is going to go away. And then we're already scheming, I think that's a good word to use, on what our next design is going to be. Um, this one's going to be hard to top because yeah, this one is... I love it. Yeah, this one has been well-received. We've actually, I mean, every time we put the shirt on or the hoodie, for that matter, we're always looking at that design going, man, it just, 
it means so much to so many different people, not just our viewers. Yeah, you can make it definitely your own, whatever your someday happens to be. Now, if you've been to the website and thought that you couldn't order a shirt because it doesn't come in your size, go back and check again. There, We have up to 3X in the hoodie and the unisex t-shirt, but not for every color. So click all the colors to see um, if it comes in your size. Yeah, there's even, I think, one color for the 4XL size okay if, if okay. i recall right and the other thing that we had questions or comments on were from our military folks that are overseas worried about their um military address we checked with them rest assured that the address that you put on there you will get it if you don't or if you have problems with that reach out to us via email or comment on this video below and we will get a hold of the company and try to get you an answer as fast as we can nope oh, espn espn <laughs> it was <laughs> Phil's football highlights are popping in. Yeah. Well, weekly updates. Oh, sorry, weekly yeah. update. You guys know he is a sports freak, so. Yeah, it's all for my fantasy stuff. All right, back to the t-shirts. Yes. Um, just so you know, um, we still are doing Homes for Our Troops as a charity, and thanks to everyone who has already contributed to our tip jar, we already have over $1,000 going to Homes for Our Troops, and we are super excited. Yeah, and couple that with the shirt sales, they're going to get a pretty sizable um, donation yes. here at the end of this campaign. So again, thanks to everybody that has purchased a shirt, yes. uh, put a few dollars in the tip jar, um, we are again blown away by your generosity. Yes, yes. It gives me chills right now just talking about it. We appreciate you guys more than you know. Yeah. So the hoodies and long sleeve tees this go around <laughs> are a bigger hit um, because of the time of year. So that's a good thing. And I can tell you, I wear this hoodie a lot and it is very comfortable. It's Even when I put it on today, I'm like, does it still look new? Because I wear the heck out of it. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. The link is for the t-shirts are down below. I've also thrown in a couple other links like the link for this if you guys are looking for it. So um, if you're wondering where all the links are, we have had we still get questions about it. If you look down below this video, you'll see something that Show says more. show more. Click on that and it's going to open up and have all the stuff written in with all these links and all, you know, like our newsletter link yep. if you want to join the newsletter, our blog, all kind of stuff. So pop down there and check it out. Yeah, and if if the link or, or any link for that matter does not work, feel free to let us know. We will jump on it. We will get it corrected as soon yep. as we can. Yep. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being a part of our community. We really love that you're here with us today. Make sure if you haven't yet, drop down and hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up and hit the notification bell right over here. And hopefully one day we'll see you on, on the road. road.